Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to work with the Wave tool. This thing become pretty popular on the internet. I didn't use that much, but today I'm going to show you how it works. So for the sake of reference, I'm going to go with this abstract building and I'm going to reflect it, you know, and make it wavy. So it's going to create this surreal kind of uh, image. All right, first step, unlock this little lock here. And let's select the crop tool, which is located right here and drag the bottom down. So we're going to have more space for the other pyramid or building or what is that? And press enter. OK, I'm going to drag and drop the layer here to the little plus. All right. So we created a new copy. Just drag it down here until they match. There we go. I'm going to press control T. And from here, we're going to right click, flip vertical. And now right click, flip horizontal, place it with the up arrow and down arrow so we can match it perfectly. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to rearrange it here with the crop again. So this is the bottom and we're going to work with this one. So right click on this layer and convert a smart object. So we're going to convert this to smart object. So we're going to apply the effect and we still can recustomize the effect because it's smart object. So let's go to the filter distort wave. So as you can see, we got a lot of options going on here and we got three types. We got the sin, we got the triangle and we got the square. I can test it out with the sin and we got a lot of options going on here. Uh, this is going to distort it to left to right. Uh, unfortunately, it's a really small window here where you can see, you know, the preview image. So this is why we made the smart object because, you know, if I click OK on this one, you can see it distorted, but I want to go back. So I'm going to double click here on the wave. And now the option is going to reappear now. So we got the wavelength. As you can see, this way is going to make the waves bigger. If I decrease it, it's going to make small waves and a lot of waves. You know, even if I decrease this one, it's going to make even more. Click OK. Let's test it out. See that it starts to come together. Double click again and let's see the amplitude. The amplitude basically splits these waves a lot. So I'm going to go really up to the almost to the max and click OK. As you can see, it's split a lot and it also splits uh, vertically, not only horizontally. So I'm going to go back, double click. And as you can see here down, we got uh, two scales. We got the horizontal one and the vertical one. The vertical one is on one. But if I increase it even more to four, for example, and click, it's going to even split even more, uh, you know, vertically. I'm going to double click, decrease it and play around with this one. And I, if I increase this one, you know, it's going to split it even more. So I'm going to decrease this, you know, the number of uh, generators or what is that the scale the amplitude so it won't be that split in different pieces see that I'm gonna test it out like this so now we got a proper wave here but um, but I still need to work some more on this one and the wall I I'm going to click OK and as you can see, here we got these uh, waves, which I don't like. So I'm going to create a mask on this layer. So we got this layer. I'm going to go to the mask, click on the mask and delete some of these. I'm going to uncheck the bottom layer so I can see what I'm doing better. And going to select the marquee tool, select these waves in here, the top waves until they go down in here. And we got the black, click on the black. So the black is on the top and let's select the paint bucket tool, which is right here and paint on this area. So basically this way it deletes because we're on the mask. I'm going to press control D so it deselects. I'm going to check this bottom layer again. And what I'm going to do is take this wavy layer and just bring it up here. Of course, you need to correct some areas here and there, but mainly this is how you create this, you know, reflection effect in Photoshop. So yeah, thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.